Have we smuggled the other memory crystal into Calpurnia's camp? We have. Here. Ugh. Even honey can't sweeten Philandris. I'll keep trying. You are no slave, Linnea. I'll add another spoonful myself. Later. I hope this link doesn't go both ways. Dagna says not. Besides, the conversation happened days ago. While I found that interesting, this is what you must hear. Master, forgive me. I didn't expect. The time for your ascension is. Tell me of your preparation. They go well enough, although I'm distracted here. If I could train at the shrine. Only Dumont's faithful may enter. Continue with me. Or would you see the Imperium's reverse stalled by your lack of focus? I will be ready, as the vessel, and to Vinter's champion. Calpurnia sounds like she's doing this for Tavinta, not Corypheus. Another deflection. Why, a dwarf and bauble, as if mine was miraculously returned to me. Let's give your new owner a glimpse of her fate. Venatori, we leave. That is all the crystal recorded before she found it. But I think it may be enough. A shrine to Dumat, Corypheus said. Where Calpenia is forbidden to go. Who is this Dumat that Corypheus mentioned? An old god, worshipped in ancient Tevinter as the Dragon of Silence. He was the first to rise as an archdemon and bring the blight. Truly a god fit for Corypheus. Corypheus will be on guard once Calpurnia tells him we were listening. I wonder. She may wish to see what we do first. She must realize he's hiding something from her. Let us investigate this shrine. Carefully. I doubt Corypheus has left it unguarded. Chapter 9, verse 1. Look at that containment spell. It would hold a dozen pride demons. What is this? Who are you? Magister Eresthenes, am I a scholar of Timinta? To Corypheus, I am bound to answer every question. Gersenius. <coughs> <coughs> I am lost. Corypheus did this to you, on Calpurnia's behalf. She knows not. I am a ruin, the jeweled husk when the butterfly leaves. I was the greatest scholar of the old gods in Minrathus. No, in the Imperium. One night, he came to my door. For my relics, I thought, my writings and runes. And instead, my slave went to his side, Calpurnia, to become the vessel and save Tivinta. If Calpurnia is this vessel, what are the contents going to be? I do not know. Uh, it must be some sort of. Power, power like Ethemius, risen in flame. <laughs> Is that why Calpurnia joined Corypheus? To save your empire? Yes, she seeks a leader, Corypheus, to shape Tevinta's rebirth. <laughs> she would raise up the slaves as, as she was raised, bring a new order with, with a Heart of steel. She could do it if she were not the vessel. 
If Calpurnia is the one Corypheus wanted, why do this to you? For practice. I, Corypheus, crafts a vessel for whatever power he seeks. Yes. But he does not need his vessel to have free will. About her, these same chains will fall. I am to cage lightning. My grinding is the poor pencil sketch. Campania will be the masterpiece. Power without free will. That's her role as the vessel. Yoked like a canary major of Cerebus, circumscribed sycophant. This chain has broken me, friend. No wings can raise my mind. Please, breach the circle. Its wards will trigger. I will be dust and light, free. Or it will kill us. Corypheus is not above placing such a trap. Corypheus' circle will hold its destruction within. Tight, tight. No fear, only freedom. All right. You seem honest, and you've suffered enough. Light a lamp, would you, Calpurnia? Everything's so dark. The reports from our agents at the shrine are intriguing. You were correct. Once Calpurnia becomes the vessel, she will lose her freedom. Forgive me, but I wish you hadn't been so quick to throw the Enspelled Magister away. We didn't need thumbscrews. The Inquisition can deliver mercy now and then. At a cost. Well, done is done. Corypheus's notes mention a place where regret dwells. That is more of a mystery. Until the notes are deciphered, I intend rumors of the binding ritual to reach Calpurnia's ears. Now we've done the hard work, Calpurnia might investigate the shrine herself. Scouts are posted, but she has yet to appear. Breaching his sanctum might give Corypheus pause, yet Calpurnia is silent as are her agents. We have given her something to think about.